here for Life to the Max. We are at the world's first, the world's biggest, the world's best, the world's largest fish house parade. It is Aiken, Minnesota. You gotta see this. There are traditions that are unique to cultures and communities. In Aiken, Minnesota, you could say they're making winter lemonade out of lemons. How else do you explain an idea to hold a parade? Not just any parade, but a day after Thanksgiving parade. Um, actually, about 20 years ago, a small group of um, community members got together, and really their goal was to try to figure out how to keep people um, in town on Black Friday and to shop locally. So they came up with this crazy idea to have a fish house parade. Um, and the, you know, it benefits the businesses downtown, it keeps people in town, but better than that, it brings a lot of people to town. Why not? Bringing people an attraction, the oldest Chamber of Commerce trick in the books, but this one has legs. I just like to tell people that it's, uh, you know, it's something you gotta see. It's crazy, it's wacky, people come up with some great, great ideas. Um, and it's just, uh, there's not a better way to spend your day after Thanksgiving. It's very family oriented um, and the whole town really pulls itself together to really put on a, a fun event for, the, for all, all the people. In these parts, ice fishing is to the winter what lake fishing is to the summer. So celebrate it. As our roving reporter Chip Lear found out, this gathering brings in all types from all places. There is the spiritual side. Some people, it is the religion. <laughs> it's pretty, uh, pretty regular. In fact, in the uh, winter time, uh, my job is to get up about and go out on the ice about nine and come home about one or two o'clock after I've catched my limit, and and then we take and clean them and we give them away to the the older ladies in town at the at the nursing homes and the healthcare centers. So what you're saying here is that you support the belief that many anglers live by, which is it is better to go fishing and think about God than it is to go to church and think about fishing. Probably. <laughs> I'll go with that one. <laughs> there are people looking for, shall we say, something else. What are you trying to catch? Ooh, that's a good one there. Well, we're going to have to work on that story there, but we're always looking for a big fish, really big fish in the pond, in a small pond. Aiken's a very small pond. It is Minnesota, but there's a sucker everywhere. <laughs> Somebody's going to get caught this weekend. <laughs> they have come to this one place this one day to make the cold of the upcoming winter seem bearable. And to introduce people from as far away as Oklahoma to a special spirit. So tell us, tell us about, tell us about what you think about this parade. Well, it's a little chilly outside, but it's interesting. <laughs> We all live in a yellow submarine, yellow submarine. The tradition is what overwhelms you. Amazing when creativity overtakes a town. So tell us about the Edmund Fitzgerald. What's the motivation behind this float? Well, we have to incorporate the uh, ice house, so we figured we'd make a lighthouse, and then of course the lighthouse was a key to the Edmund Fitzgerald, making it across uh, Lake Superior. The Fitzgerald would have made it. The Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald had Fitzgerald trouble. Fitzgerald made it. The Fitzgerald didn't. They're all here, from the far out to the locals, who make this must-see an annual. You, you're a local resident in Aiken. Yes, I am. And this is the Fish House Parade. What do you What do you think of this event? I think it's fun. I think it's great that they get a town together and everyone comes out to see the parade. I did it my way. Do you have a, do you have a favorite float that you've seen so far? All the ones with the snowmobiles. That's the idea of doing something to attack the winter and create a sense of pride. In Aiken, Minnesota, it's working. What does it mean to you every year? Uh, I, I like how it really brings out the creativity in people, you know? People that are normally sort of northwestern, you know, north people keep themselves, they really let loose this time of year and just do crazy stuff. Well, what we have here is we have your authentic 
early American fish house. You drive it out on the on the ice there and you let the oxen go because they just scare all the fish away anyway. It's the first world's first fi ice fishing house in northern Minnesota. We've always had ice fishermen and so uh, before they had ice houses they used their covered wagons out in the lake. Well, it's, often, it's often been said that an, an ice fisherman never goes to waste. Once, once he passes on he can always be used as bait. We decided we would come out and show people our fish house. They think they got all them fancy floating ones and we here got this nice steady one here. You bet. So when people come to town, are you willing to take them out on the ice in your, uh, your fish house? Yep, even in July. A community embracing the best of its landscape. What a perfect way to end the parade. They blast us with ping pong balls like this, and I got myself a discount at one of the local establishments in town. Come to Aiken and celebrate the start of ice fishing. When we come back, we'll take you to Sioux Falls, South Dakota for some hockey. That's right, hockey. Life to the Max rolls on. For more information on Life to the Max, go to our website at lifetothemax.tv.